This is Barnes. Oh, two good touches already, but he's given the ball away. Kubik for Czechoslovakia. Skuravi to his right. Des Walker goes for the tackle, but Kubik gets the shot in. As we saw in the World Cup, he's a dangerous customer when the ball's on his left foot. Number nine, Lubos Kubik. And here's Kubik. Good running uh, by Konoflicek. Des Walker is his marker, but he shoved him. It's a free kick to Czechoslovakia. Definitely a little nudge there in the back, and, and the wire position is a dangerous position to give away a free kick, because that's when uh, they might be able to hit Skorabi. Yes, and they've also brought Kadlex, uh, the blonde lad up from the back. Skorabi's there! Oh, what a good goal! He's turned a somersault, and he's turned the England defence too. That was whipped in, and England have gone a goal down after 20 minutes and you'll see Skorabi come in here and it goes in off the post you can see from those pictures that there is something going on at the back of that stand but back on the pitch John Barnes is going to take a corner for England Keown facing him no I don't think so and there's Haitley, Merson. Merson's header, in fact, went away from goal. This is Rowcastle. Well, he's unlucky. It was a, a good header. And I'm not sure if the ball wouldn't have been heading perhaps just past the post and the, there was a man on the line anyway. Here's Pierce. He's nearly always present. Haitley. Trying to slide it into Haitley. Good play. David Platt pulled it back behind Haitley, but here's Merson. And there's the equaliser for England. And Paul Merson of Arsenal pops up in the right place. The ball came off a Czech player, but uh, he kept the shot down. Miklosko, I think, got his hands to it, but it crept over the line signal there to the England bench I think there might be an injury to uh, John Barnes he pulled up there and waved across to the uh, England staff uh, if it is uh, what it looks like a hamstring he was pointed to there's no point in him carrying on and uh, what an injury ridden season he's had it'd be a great show and here's a break for Czechoslovakia it's Konoflicek with Happel outside him and Happel goes now for the shot oh dear it's escaped the grasp of David Seaman and Martin Keown scrambled it away from the post and that threatened to be a nightmare moment for the England goalkeeper well it was a bad mistake because he was very wide here it was only a half shot come cross and uh, one of those that normally he would take comfortably it bobbles away and for what must have been an agonising couple of seconds, weren't sure what was going to happen. And again, the uh, tall figure of Skirabi threatens. Nemechek's there, that's in! I don't know whether Nemechek even got a touch, I think it went straight in from the corner. Well... Joseph Hovanec took the corner with his left foot and he cut it into the near post area. Nemechek didn't get a touch. Maybe an England player threw the goalkeeper, but Hovanec has to get the credit for putting Czechoslovakia 2-1 up. The only thing you could... Paul Merson is an adaptable one and he, he could play up with... Uh, Lineker up with Haitley and Merson sort of float around behind that and, and add the third man up front. Yes, that's right. Well, we'll see if he does. For the moment, England have a chance anyway. Oh, and it's the equaliser! Martin Keown! Well, number two, Martin Keown comes here and produces a goal out of nothing.
It's a super shot, this, for his first international goal by the Everton defender. And for once, the Czechs are rocked back on their heels. Miklosko puts an arm up and can't possibly do anything about it. And Keown has equalised for England after 65 minutes. It's 2-2. And we are going to see Gary Lineker. Haidl is there. Dorigo's there. Oh, and well held on by the keeper. They weren't very pleased with the follow-up challenge. Paul Stewart Gary, in the thick of it there. Gary, Gary, Tony Dorigo latching Gary. onto a knockback from Mark Haitley. Ludot McCrosco did magnificently well to hold on to that. And here's the substitution that brings England's second highest scorer ever onto the pitch. It's Gary Lineker for Gary Mabbott. A Tottenham switch, if you like. Lineker with two goals to get to equal Bobby Charlton's record of 49. Comes on with about 18 minutes of this match left. Skurave causing havoc again and Seaman puts the ball out and it's back in the goalkeeper's arms from Happel who probably should have done better in that position well <laughs> the game moves so fast there's hardly time to dwell on that the Czechs are in possession again with Kadlets and here's Skurave stretching Walker did he foul him? the whistle's gone and Skurave is unsettling England again well, now there's no cover, of course, with the sweeper, so Martin Keown and Des Walker are at times one against one. The first one, he just got the wrong side of Keown. On that occasion, he definitely gave a, a nut to Des Walker. This is the one where he got the wrong side, and as you can see, tried to loop it over, Happel, but luckily, um, relief with David Seaman. What did you learn from tonight's experiment? Well, I mean, I think that more than anything else, I mean, Paul Merson has played his first full international, um, Mark Haitley has been brought back after four years. Martin Keown's only playing his second one, and we've played a very good side. I, I mean, I said at the time that when I saw them play against France, when they were five players short themselves, if they'd had those five players, which they had tonight, then I think perhaps the result against France might have been a different one, and who knows, Czechoslovakia may have been in the European Nations Cup as they were in the World Cup, and I think they're a good side. So today... We were chasing a little bit. I felt that we were outbossed in midfield and that created a lot of problems for us. But that's what experiment's about. I mean, this I've said this all of the time, there's no point in not making experiments and then assuming that when you do make them, you're going to control every game. That's not going to be the case. And you do take these risks. We've had the draw today and that's fair enough, but it's part and parcel of looking at things in readiness for the summer.